Okay. If you're here, you're back to the one where I was unboxing Costco stuff. And now I've got my mac and cheese in. We have a six to eight minute timer on that. Let's get some of oil. Let's get back to what I was doing. So, Sharper Image, which used to have stores. And I remember as a kid going into the mall and being into the Sharp, Sharper Image store. And it was fucking fantastic. They had CD players that were like on the wall and you could see them spinning. This is gonna get not safe for work, I think. No, it's a TikTok, it can't. It's a TikTok. Oh, that's it? Okay. Okay, we're good, we're safe. Pasta, you know what, Pasta had a sharper image up in Canada. Anyway, um, sharper image used to have things. Wow, that dude is super like... Anyway, you know what this is. I've unboxed a couple of them now. I bought this one cash because it's $99. Now, the one I bought was like 300 and something dollars. And then a company sent me that cheap one. And that cheap one was like $140 and it was cheap. So I'm gonna see what Sharper Image can do because this design is like the better design that I've seen. And for $100 at Costco, if I could recommend it, if Pasta can find it on the internet, and I'll recommend this, then it's worth the unboxing, right? Christmas is coming. If you're seeing this before Christmas, it is December 8th. Yesterday was December 7th. Yesterday was the Pearl Harbor Remembrance slash uh, Raid Shadow Legend stream. Sharper Image. So anyway, Sharper Image, like, they are no longer exist as a store, but they still exist as like a, a, a brand and a magazine or a brand and a catalog. What is with this? Why did everyone do this now? That's like three in a row. Ball, round, flat fork bar cone. 010203, I know how it works. I just wanna know if it sucks or not. Cause this is like a great gift. Like if you have someone who's, like my brother, he's fucking trained to be a fireman now. In his, in his like early thirties, my little brother in his early thirties. And that's not fucking, I can't imagine that's fucking fun. The shit he's got to do where they like, like cover your face and they make you crawl through burning buildings and stuff to test you. He might need one of these for Christmas. And then he could hammer himself with a big ball or a little ball or the, the meat chopper. Like I actually, that would tenderize meat really well. Like if it just beat the meat. Don't take that out of context. And then this would be for your anus and vagina. That's like the, the shocker. That's, 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 that's a shocker attachment. Take that right in context. The nipple smasher and the ho ho. We're there. All right, I set it to 122, which is a little bit low. I wanted to be alerted at 122. So we're just gonna let it go to 125. Asuka, looking good. Let me see how it feels. It feels like crap. That's just a sex toy. I like the colors, wow. Smells like a Nike, like a Foot Locker. Remember when we used to go to shoe stores and things? That'll break your fingertips if you put it in there. So let's put this on here. Does it just, does it twist on? What does it do? See, I still don't think it has as big a throw as my other one. There's your on off, got a nice glow. 92, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0. One. Wait, what is zero? So you hold it, you see the battery life. That is whisper quiet. You could use this on yourself at work, in your cubicle, with your girlfriend. This is... Uh, oh, oh, I'm not putting it in my ass. I'm putting it on my back. Stop thinking that. Oh, fuck. It feels so good, though. Oh, the small of my back. I was driving my Tacoma around to Costco and fucking Wegmans and shit. I realized I used over a quarter tank of gas to go shopping because the Tacoma does not get good mileage. But oh my God, like I don't hate the seats, but now I'm feeling that it does, it does a good job. Like it's hard to stop. Like it's the other one I was able to like stop it. My good one, I can't stop it. And this one, I can't, uh, I stopped it. But that was a lot of force, holy shit. I'm amazed at how quiet this thing is. I could whisper, I could be like, hey baby. If you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or someone who doesn't want to be defined at all, as either of those things, you can just wake them up gently with this. Put this right by their head and be like, uh, oh my God. Okay, that is a quality product. I may have to buy another one because I might keep this one and then have my brother who's, you know, he's got muscle pain, but. 
That's a fucking amazingly quiet. Wow, my back feels better. I really need to take mine out and use it again. I, I have them and it's like it's fun to show guests. Fun to show what they're, uh, God damn it, you sick bastards. I didn't set a timer, I can't yell, time remaining. This is a webcam, and the only reason I bought it at Costco is because this um, Avermedia full HD webcam, fancy font, live streaming webcam, is because you literally can't get them on Amazon anymore because COVID means no one can see each other. It's all about Zoom calls, and I'm like, oh, 50 bucks. If it's bad, I'll return it to Costco. It gives me a reason to go back to Costco. I made like two trips to Costco without buying new artwork, and it really pisses me off. But that was my thing. It was go to Costco, pick up, I mean, of all the times to not have paneled artwork to be by. I'm pretty sure that's empty, by the way. Was this just sort of shoved in here? What the fuck am I doing? Why don't they make webcams with detachable wires? Like, just give me a USB. They don't do it. Webcams are all attached wires. They're standard USB. Like, why would you force me? By the way, I got spirals. I hear you. Shut up. Ah. A little more. Okay. We're having a moment. We're having a, a, a Zeos in the kitchen moment. All right, here's what I gotta do. Here's what I gotta do. I put a little. All right, I get it. Here, you put, take the roast beef. You take the roast beef out a little bit. You take your probe that you put in there, and you pull it out like a quarter inch, and you look. 124, any less than that, a little more. See, we're not, we're, we're, we're right about there. 124 is about where I want to be. If you pull it out and it drops down, you leave it in there. But we only dropped down about a degree. So I'm gonna shut off the oven. I'm just gonna leave you just sort of sitting on the edge. And this is magnetic, but all my appliances are stainless steel on the outside. That's, actually that's not that hot at all. Okay, perfect. Um, so let's just do its thing. That's almost done. We're gonna unbox one more thing. Well, like look at the webcam. Where the fuck did I put it? This is called multitasking. Women love it when you can do this. Um, tripod mount, nice. And it will, this is so I could flip onto a monitor. My the one that I have is a Logitech, and it will also do that, but it has a little foot that you could mount this way. So it has a third articulation point. This only has two articulation points. It's a little bit weighted. Uh, here's your wire coming out the back. Where the fuck is the lens? I think it's, this thing spins. It's a 360 degree spinner head. I know I read that. There it is. Okay, so there's your privacy screen. Which, are they fucking dumb? They're fucking dumb. Why are companies so fucking dumb? Why are companies so fucking dumb? So here's your privacy shield, great. There it covers the lens. What's that? Or oh, is that a white tab of plastic that you have to peel up to uncover the fucking lens that exists only under the fucking, mm. Okay. Yeah. That didn't even uncover the lens. It was, it's, a, it's got a hole in it. What is that protecting, the infrared light? What is that? Doesn't matter, it was stupid because the tab was on the sh tab should have been on this side, so I could peel it up. And that's a shitty piece of plastic. That's just like, that's even like a lock in place. It's just like, wee, 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 wee. We'll see how bad this is. Pasta can complain on her. Uh, Discord, pasta's Discord. Gives you a nice over six foot cord though. Are you not safe for work? I'd probably remove you. Not much more I could say about that. Um. Okay, we gotta go deal with the macaroni and cheese. I, I'm, gotten, I'm getting to it. I will not overcook the macaroni and cheese. You people are not worth the same as macaroni and cheese. Pasta, now you gotta link the Simply Human sensor pump. Shit, I'm gonna have to put a Costco one and Costco two so she does these in order. Otherwise, she's gonna be like, what the fuck? Because I, I went over these things in the first part. This is the second part, by the way, baby. So we've got a, a Simple Promise instructions. I yelled at my cousin for buying a way too expensive Simply Human um, garbage thing, which, you know, he stepped on it. It was like a hundred dollars. And I'm like, bitch, that's too much money for a garbage pail. Just buy a garbage pail. I mean, I'm still using these Costco ones that like recycling another one. 
But um, his broke. His simply human thing broke. Okay, I'm gonna lower you down. It's so fluffy, oh my God. Maybe I shouldn't have made two boxes. Oh, I gotta throw all those shits out. I gotta drive down to the driveway, fuck. Am I high? No. I just can't find things when I need them. And then I gotta put this into a steel sink and I gotta run the cold water, which is that way. Cause I didn't do that thing where I measure the precise amount. That is a lot of mac and cheese. I'm gonna do a mac and cheese thing in the middle of this unboxing. You're just gonna have to accept these, these little fucking adventures we go on. Eh. I only buy the glass bottle milks. I don't buy the whole stuff. I only buy the stuff from Homestead Creamery. Um, I would buy the non-homogenized that you have to actually shake it because then it's like real fuck you milk and it varies because if you don't shake it quite enough, like it's got more buttermilk or less and it's, it's really interesting when you can do that. Right, I'm just gonna let the butter do its thing for a sec. Can you not fall down? Now, how do I do this? Do you, I'm gonna read the instructions for once, one fucking time. Place butter and milk into empty saucepan, stir in cheese packet, okay. Because I, I, sometimes I do the, the cheese packet right into the butter. You notice I'm not measuring the butter, I'm just seeing how much will melt. We're just trying to get an amount. Shut that off now, we don't need to. I'm coming. I'm just, I'm going until this, this unboxing is done. This, what do we use? We used like half an inch of butter. Seems correct, let me have some of my tea. Mmm. I don't measure for mac and cheese. People who measure ingredients for mac and cheese are pedantic. Echo, define pedantic. The adjective pedantic is usually defined as ostentatious in one's learning. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for pedantic. Give me more definitions for pedantic. I have one more definition for the adjective pedantic, overly concerned with minute details or formalisms, especially in teaching. See, that, was, uh, that actually worked. I used it in the correct phrasing. Just, just, just fucking melt butter and throw some milk in there. You'll stir it. And now you want to stir some pasta into this to help act as a, an agent to beat the cheese into smaller amounts. Not all of it. You're just, you're just trying to like, it's like when you add tennis balls to a dryer cycle, pasta, please link tennis balls in the description. She hates when I do that. That's what love is like. It's just, just making her link tennis balls in the description. Tennis balls, baby. Because when you add tennis balls to your dryer, it pushes the clothes away and beats them up and makes them fluffy. Um, you don't have to do that all the time. Like a lot of times you just do it with bedspreads and heavy, heavy, heavy things. I have specific dryer balls made from made in Australia for that. But you do that for the cheese and you put some pasta in there and it beats up the cheese. Oh my God, I haven't had spot. By the way, did, did Kraft stop making spirals? Because I haven't seen them and I would have probably bought them. Oh, there, there's no, I'm hoping I could use all of this milk at some point. Because I hate, like there's like, what am I gonna do with that little bit of milk? You can't make milk, milk cheese, cheese milk, chocolate milk. Okay. Garbage, garbage, away. Did I just throw something on the floor? I fucking did. Did I just rub butter on my fucking side? I probably did. I apologize for doing this in the middle of an unboxing, I know, but I mean, I don't make Z cooks as consistently as I'd like to anymore. Don't do this either. What I'm about to do is very fucking illegal, highly illegal. Don't do this. Don't use your temperature probe to lift your rope. That's just, don't do it. It's bad practice. Um, I might get out the blowtorch and that a little bit. And I'll deal with that in a second. Back to what we were doing. Welcome to my unboxing channel on Zio's Pantera, which is also a gaming channel. There'll be some Gary's Mod videos at some point. So, this is to make myself feel fancy and lazy. Is there anything else? I, if there's something else, I'm gonna be like, oh, but if there's nothing else, I'm gonna be like, fuck. So I'm just like, fuck. Fucking boxes. 
had so few boxes. Why did I have so few boxes three days ago when the garbage men were coming for boxes? So here is Why is that a sticker? So this is for your magnets. Does it not come? Oh, it's a charge it. Okay, so this thing has an, so you fill this with soap or cum lube, I don't know, horse cum lube. I think that was a thing we discussed in one of Pasta's Discord's thing. I don't remember, something about cum lube. And oh yeah, it's got a little, little squidgy squidgy. And it's got an infrared and you charge it and then you don't have to leave it plugged in. I wish this had a, oh, it does have a, uh, that was a cap. So you can actually see into the bottom and this is rubberized too. That's actually very well made. Who makes this? Simple Human? Simply Human? So you would just go like that. You could charge it, put it in your thing. I don't know how long it'll last. And then you could have it dispense, I guess any like liquid. Because if it's dispensing soap, then it can dispense like thick liquids. So just whatever thick liquid, like maybe you like a shot of, um, oh, 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 rum chata. Right, hold your coffee under it. It's my rum chata. Wow, the two of these were like 60 something dollars for the pair, or else I would just buy a bunch of them and have them dispense everything. Just dispense my whole life. Um, I like the cap though. I do like the way the cap, little silicone ring around it, little breather hole, breather hole there. Recommended soap at simplyhuman.com. So it came with a free soap, liquid hand soap lavender, which, um, Sensor pump friendly. Our soap is optimum consistency, <laughs> giggity, um, for sensor pumps. Ideal for smooth and consistent dispensing without drips and clogs. And that would make sense. Oh, I shut the light off. Maybe I will use their soap for the first load. I'm sorry, I keep making these comments. I'm sorry, I keep making these comments. But uh, eventually I'm gonna wanna use like the soap I like. So let's plug this in and charge it. it doesn't come with a charger because I assume you have a place to plug in. That's a butt, that's a terrible butt. I've shown that butt to people. So let's plug this in here. This is my charging station. Um, what's not being used? That was for that. Does it, will it, does it polarize? Oh, it does have a little indicator to show you that it do like that. Oh, blue light. All right, so I'll charge these both up. Um, Obviously, it's for my master bathroom, so there's my sink and someone else's sink. Maybe pasta sink? I don't know. Is it 2021 yet? God damn it. And uh, yeah, we'll dispense soap or whatever other viscous liquid you want to throw in that just for shits and giggles. Chocolate milk. Oh my God, I would make one that was a fucking pump for um, hot cocoa mix. I used to have a Nesquik pump or Nestle's pump. I'm going to say this right now in this video. For the love of God, if you can find me a link, you can't link it in the description, it'll get blocked, in the comments, it'll get blocked. But if you could tell me how to find the the Nestle hot cocoa pump, it was like a big thing, and you just you would just fill it with like warm water and you go pump, pump, and stir it, and it was hot cocoa, and it was amazing. Because you could go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and have like the best hot cocoa of your whole fucking life. Or just do two pumps, like it said. And um, I bought it once, and then it was the greatest thing ever, and it lasted forever, because it was a big bottle. And when I went to go buy it again, it doesn't exist. And someone found a picture of it on like an award forum for like the design of the packaging. And that's the last time I've ever heard of it. That's a great idea, what a liquid pump that pumps chocolate pump, fuck. All right, we're done. Oh, it says don't use on hands or some shit, I don't know. Anywhere you have muscles. Giggity. Wait, that's not a muscle, is it? Your brain, your brain is, they say your brain is the biggest muscle in your body. Oh, God. I need to buy more of these. I need to make a chair out of these. Please support me on Patreon so I can have a chair that has like seven of these that are mounted and then they'll just slowly like oscillate like, oh my God. That's why those fucking Japanese chairs cost like $6,000. It's just a bunch of these in it. It'd be amazing. 